I was fortunate to film for you a real gem of early dynastic architecture, Shunet el Zebib, the enormous walls of mud brick, 12 meters high, 5 meters thick, surround an area of 137 by 77 meters. It actually consists of two rectangular walls. The outer ones imitated the facade of a royal palace. Although it resembles a defensive structure, it's not. It was actually part of the Kasakemue funerary complex. Kasakemue reigned 18 years as the last ruler of the Second Dynasty in the 27th century BC. He was the father of the famous Jose, the first ruler of the Old Kingdom. Kasakemue means the two powerful ones appear which may refer to Horus and Set as state deities. According to some Egyptologists, in his time there was a civil war between Upper and Lower Egypt, between the followers of Horus and Set. Kasakemwe ended in fighting and reunited the country. The wall surrounding the funerary complex of Kasakemwe's son Josa in Saqqara, although much larger and made of stone, resembles this structure. As we know, the centerpiece of Joseph's complex was his famous step pyramid. I wonder what was here? Australian Egyptologist David O'Connor, who led the reconstruction work, as you can see some of the bricks were added to protect the walls, found the foundations of some mysterious structure in the very middle of this enclosure. It's unknown what it could be. I'd like to take a closer look, but it's quite a dangerous place. There are no tourists here and a pack of local stray dogs found shelter behind the walls. Probably the House of Ka was located here. The precursor of later funerary temples where the statue of the ruler was worshipped, Kasakemwe is known as the first to erect his monumental stone images. Famous buried ships were discovered exactly here by O'Connor in the 90s. Lines of mud brick were initially thought to be the remains of the walls of unidentified buildings. American archaeologists, led by O'Connor, discovered 14 boats embedded in these mud brick sarcophagi. They were attributed to Kasakemwe. But studies of the artifacts buried here began in 2000, point to hundreds of years before the construction of Kasakemwe's enclosure. They may have belonged to Aha, the second ruler of the first dynasty from the 31st century BC, who was said to have had a similar enclosure in the area. Aha, or Hor Aha, meaning Horus the fighter, is believed to be the son of the famous Nama, also called Menes, who, according to ancient traditions, was to unify Egypt and begin the first dynasty. <laughs> 